So guys, I'm gonna sort of take us along this whole day from start to finish and this day is the first day I'm gonna be using the Rubai mixing drill but I gotta start off with the materials of course I have to pick up the materials for the couple of these ceilings I'm doing so I need some bonding as these ceilings are textured and I gotta beat the texture with the bonding and who hates when this happens lift the bag and there's a hole in it and it covers you in dust when you're Especially when you're clean, first thing in the morning, you know. But back to it, so you gotta load up your materials and I need bonding and I need finish, I need PVA um, and some scrim just in case there's any cracks and I can re scrim tape them cracks. But yeah, so the lightweight bonding will get me up over the texture and then obviously the multi finish will get me finished on the job. So pretty much got what I need here now um, obviously it's not a massive massive job as you can see but you know you can't do the job without the materials and this is B&Q's finest here and the reason I'm using B&Q they open, actually open quite early and it's just a bit handy when they do open early to get in get your stuff and get to the job so this is going to be the very first mix of anything with the body powered rubai mixing drill um, it's just pva obviously small task you can see it's whipping it up lovely with minimal splashing as i've noticed so obviously the blades throw the stuff down the way and not up the way which is good for you don't want to create mess it's very handy and here's the second task it's going to be a bit of a bigger batch than what the drill sort of recommended but i just wanted to do a bit of bag just to just to make sure you know on the ceiling on the ceiling that i'm actually going to bond out i wanted to make sure i had enough mixed and i wanted to check that the drill was capable of doing a full bag so you can see it's cut through it nicely so far This is the best way to go about mixing guys, is to gradually build up your mix and that goes for everything, sand, cement and plaster. You're always just gradually building up and obviously you always add the plaster to the water but as you will see shortly I actually mix this one quite stiff, a little stiffer than what I wanted and I just bring it back a taste and um, I do recommend that you actually always just get it spot on. Obviously a bucket of water to a bag of bonding but there seems to be a wee bit more in the bonding because of the formigolite and I think it draws the water out more but all that being said you can wet it up a wee taste as I will do because it's just a wee bit not, not nice I do, did want it stiff but I didn't want it just quite so stiff but at the same time I did gain something from this mix um, and that was that the ruby drill can actually mix it stiff if needs be um, which you will see so it's just a little bit stiff um, just add a couple of wee splashes of water really to bring it back and help it be a wee bit more pliable as I don't want my first couple of hawkfuls to tire me out too much I have a whole seal in the coat and another wee strip the coat after this as well so I want to actually get it done get my break and then I'll, I'll get back to the skimming but as you can see that was quite stiff and the the body life is full still so this is giving me about just over half of what my big bucket is and um, just slightly over half but that on the most small jobs that is going to be quite a lot for if you were just doing one or two walls you're not going to want to mix constant big full max buckets and um, you know so I know that the, the drill is not meant to have the capabilities of mixing bigger batches but it is doing it here and you know it's doing it with ease in my opinion so that's what we're looking for um, and what, what I'm looking for is I'm trying to test its its speed, its strength and its battery power and, and when I say battery power uh, what I mean is how it's holding up on the charge um, per mix 
but obviously that's my bond and mixed and it hasn't dropped any any lights yet which is a good sign um, and what I am doing is I'm alternating the batteries here anyway so I'm keeping a battery in reserve on the charger ready to go so that you know if this battery was to die I have another one to go straight back in and once I put the other one on this one will go on charge and vice versa just constantly loop it that way that that was the plan from the get go but um it definitely I wouldn't say it, I over mix this or under mix this one but I definitely give it a a good long drill um I definitely mixed it tight and I mixed practically a full bag of bonding which has given me just over a half of that big white bucket and uh, the big white refiner buckets are quite big as well so it gives you an idea of its, of its capabilities for a plaster and obviously like I said this this maybe maybe this is a bit of a bigger job for the drill but you know to me it's a small enough job to make it worthwhile possibly having these battery power drills where you can get up quickly set up get your mix on no leads no 110 box and uh, less chance of being electrocuted to death obviously i'm not sure what your heart conditions are but i'm not sure this battery would would knock you over the edge but there's no power um i could easily walk over here and wash this drill with no leads in the way no chance of splashing the water on the leads no chance of tripping over the leads and like you know here it is i'm on the ceiling so there's no leads to trip over as well um, which is definitely a big plus there's no chance of me tripping on wires and stuff um, so to me it's it's definitely got a lot of safety aspects this drill um, and definitely one is just constant no no real electric obviously where you're charging it but you would charge it away from where your mixing area is so that there's no chance of of spilling water on the electrical um, so yeah that that mix did this whole ceiling guys um, and just mixed it lovely can't, can't complain there's no lumps obviously mixed it myself so I can't complain but there's been no lumps in it it's mixed the bottom right through it's been all an even mix right down through and it didn't splash out any and you can see we're, we're empty here so every wee drop has been used on the ceiling so it was quite a good measurement um, but like I said this this drill will do a good few bags you see me collecting the bags there so it will mix up a good few and by the end of this video I should have a good understanding with you of how I thought that it went throughout the day so here we go guys it's first mix with multi skin and again I've went for over a bucket of water in here as you can see the bucket's kind of looking a bit maxed out but you know it's definitely worth worth putting it through its its tests now um, but of course you can always you know there's nothing wrong with mixing two half buckets um, if you can coat all the ceiling get it scratched then come down mix yourself a fresh batch but obviously I'm just trying to get this mixed and then I'll set the bucket up and I can scoop away and work away from that and again like I said earlier just always want to build your mixes up gradually to try and get the right consistency that you're after now with multi skim this is why I'm a bit more confident with more stuff in here as I do like mine a bit more runny than the bonding as I have everything filled out with my bonding so I have no highs and with multi finish you shouldn't be going more than two or three mil maximum coat anyway so you can afford to go that wee bit softer as well to help you spread that and make sure you're you're within them limitations you don't want to put it on too thick and um, you can see it will be thicker than what i would use for walls at the same time as you're working above my head and i want to keep the place as clean as possible although the floor is coming up but I still want to keep the place, place clean as spilt finish is dangerous, it's slip hazard um, and you know it's also you're wasting product and 
of course, the less you spill, the the less you're gonna have to clean up at the end of the day. So it definitely is priority to try and keep the work area clean and safe. So yeah, so what do you think so far of this Ruby drill? Um, I think the Ruby drill's handling the bonding fine, and it's now handling the finish fine. As you can see, this is quite a large bucket. Um, that bucket can hold up to two full bags. I think, I think this is just over a bag and a half in. Um, I think it will hold more or less two full bags of plaster to the very top. Um, but, you know, definitely maybe taking a wee bit of help with me just bringing the drill around the edges and stuff and up and down to make sure that the mix is right the way to the bottom and there's no lumpy bits at, at the bottom but it's definitely to me it is handling it um, for this bigger one we'll need to check the body power and see how the body power is going uh, I think this is actually the third bucket I think I used a full full bag of bonding and then another half bag of bonding. So uh, this here hopefully will skim what I have bonded. Oh, we scrape our edges, make sure they're they're nice and lump free, no perry lumps sitting there ready for your skim. It'll not be too impressive to skim with. But you can see that the the finish is staying in the bucket as well. Even when I bring the the blades right up of the fin, it doesn't it throws the stuff down. It doesn't throw it up. So it's definitely a tidy, clean mixer. Um, I might have noticed it's very very light, so you can't afford to move around more up and down and stuff in the bucket as well. Where a heavier heavier drill might might pull your arms a bit more in your shoulders. Um, so as you can see you can you can work with it that way too as the thing is it's light as a feather it really is um, having another wee look at the battery part so we're getting on well with the battery um, not too bad as of yet but still a wee bit of mixing to go here a wee bit more and then clean up the drill and see how the battery's going by that stage And hope, hopefully not, but might need another wee taste of skin as well. As you can see here, guys, stuff's very nice. Um, it's exactly the way I want it for the sealant. So, just gonna really give it the edges an, an extra wee scrape here and another drill. I always tend to scrape my edges twice when I'm making a mix. Just to make sure I've got them clean, um, especially because sometimes I would pour it out on the bucket, so it helps and make sure it flows out better, the cleaner the edges are. And obviously, it stops for lumps and dry, dry powdery lumps in your mix. So definitely always recommend making sure you give the buckets a good, good scrape around the edge. And as you can see, the way it's actually sitting there. It's quite a bit of body with it and that's quite a big mix as well so definitely a bit of body in, in that finish as well so definitely giving the drill a good testing um, with mixing stuff for ceilings as it tends to be stiffer for plasters and slightly larger than what's what they sort of recommend um, but obviously I recommend you do stick to their recommendations but I'm just just, just sort of for toxic and um, giving it a good test out and because I knew I'm not going to be mixing many big buckets that it should be okay to mix a bigger bucket um, and the body part is not too bad I think I did change it after the bonding mix just to be safe as you just don't want to run out and this one's actually ready to go as well so I'm actually Finishing away at the ceiling here at the minute um, with the Rafina Superflex and still on the stilts, feeling quite safe with no wires and less splashes about the place and stuff. So, definitely got a lot of pluses there. And 
can't complain about the finish. Not just because I mixed it, but um, I have, have, can't can't fault the mix there. And you can see that it's being finished here nicely. So how I got on with the Rubai body part mixing tool was pretty well. Um, lightweight. It's quick, quick and easy to get it set up. Um, no wires, no leads. So I had great safety aspect on the job I'm doing. Um, obviously it was the seal I was doing. So the seal needed bond and skin. I mixed every drop for the whole job. And what I liked about it was as well, it was up on the stilts, I had no wires, I had to keep moving and shifting. Um, basically, the mixing area was very portable, I could shift it as suited, so even if it was doing the walls, it would be a, a quicker sort of shift, where you're not worrying about where's the power points and stuff. Um, now, I, I did mix more than the recommended amounts, which obviously I wouldn't really recommend to do, but I was giving it a bit of a test out. Um, now, I did mix more than what they recommend. I think they recommend about 20 kilograms of dust. I was definitely mixing more than that. Um, obviously, when I mixed uh, bigger buckets, it did seem to eat the battery a wee bit more, but that was to be expected. And how I countered that was if I need another bucket, basically, obviously, it's not a very big job I was doing, otherwise, I probably would have went for a, the heavier drill. But if I was needing another bucket. What I was constantly doing was having one battery on charge, so that it was always. Ne I was never going to run out of power that way, as I'm pretty sure I would have been able to mix two of my maximum buckets with one battery. So the ceilings weren't big enough to, to even hold that amount of stuff anyway. Hence why I was using it. And I think that drill is going to really come into it soon. Only all of these small jobs. Legs of one wall, one ceiling, and um, a small bathroom, and you know, it's it's a slower mix of a drill. It's a bit slower, but I found that was good because there's no chance of ever splashing any stuff. Even with the PVA, you know, PVA being a bit tighter than just water, and um, minimal chance of making a mess. And um, I can see why that would be great for tailors because. If you read how they do something stuff, it, it always asks you for a, a slow, a slower mix, and um, more than a, a rapid mix. Um, I think that's true. To, I think if you use a quicker drill, it actually starts to set off quicker on you. Um, so that's all things to think about as well. Um, but definitely get on well with it. Completed the whole job. Um, it was definitely quick and easy to set up. Safer without the leads, as you know, it was on the stilts, no tripping hazards. Um, and again, have the box again, like, easy tidy it away. Uh, can't really think of too many down points. Obviously, if the battery was bigger, it would be better. But again, that's it is what it is. Um, and why I say that it would really come into its own on all the smaller jobs that you would be doing. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts of you've used it. Um, let me know your thoughts of what you think of how it performed on this this video and this job. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask away in the comments. And I'll definitely, definitely be doing more with this drill. Um, I look forward to doing more with it as well. So definitely more, more of the future of this and also the petrol profanity job but it, it's going to be more for my outside jobs where I'm rolling about doing patchwork and, and maybe upsetting beads on the outside or doing reveals or plans and things um, but yeah so hit me up in the comments guys if you think I've missed anything out let me know but again if you want to know something ask away and I'll answer you as quick as possible